he is he really is a marvel to to watch that he's coming close to 50 one day international hundreds is it's mind blowing for Sachin Tendulkar is he, he was incredible and his uh, the runs that he scored the hundreds that he scored Virat's played when he scored runs most of the time India have won Virat's been at his absolute best and it's been incredible to, incredible to to watch he's been for majority of his career there hasn't been there's only been really one little sort of period 18 months or so ago where he had a bit of a dry run um which is to be expected he is a human being after all he's not he's not superman where you just stay fully at your best throughout your whole career but to be able to see him come back over the last 12 months and just continue to produce for india and bat as well as he does chase runs as he does which is just that is superhuman with what he's been able to do throughout his career in chasing runs look he's he really is a marvel to to watch and to be able to think that he's coming close to 50 one day international hundreds is it's mind-blowing it is mind-blowing to think that Sachin Tendulkar was able to do it as was able to get 49 um it's it's it's, it's it is hard to get your head around but that's just a dominant both of those guys have been. And when it comes to Sachin and Virat, the one thing that I will say, and there's two, there's there is a couple of parts to it. So of course Sachin Tendulkar is he, he was incredible, and his uh, the runs that he scored, the hundreds that he scored, certainly is incredible. One part is that when Sachin Tendulkar scored his runs, it didn't necessarily meant that India won those games all the time, which also has a one factor in that is also the caliber of your team around you. Like if that doesn't mean just because you score runs, your team might not have the caliber of players around you to be able to help your team win. Mm -hmm. Whereas obviously the games that Virat's played when he scored runs, most of the time India have won. So that can come down to how they score it, when they score the runs, um, but also the talent of their team around them. But what I will say is Virat Kohli's chasing and chasing to win is definitely better. And, it's, and the numbers are there. It's very obvious that his numbers are better than Sachin Tendulkar. He's got 2,700s. He's averaged over 90 chasing, whereas Sachin Tendulkar averages just over, like over 50, which is still amazing, but averages over just over 50 chasing. So for me, that statistic alone just puts puts Virat that tiny, like just that little bit above Sachin, even though the, the heights are as high as you can possibly get. But for me, that just gives him, gives Virat Kohli the edge because of his chasing ability and the average to be able to get your team across the line chasing, which is obviously what he is the best that's ever been at that.